What's up everyone? Today I'll be customizing the 370Z monster truck. $108,000. Uh, this is again with the pre-ordered version of the game. Just bought it. Hopefully I have enough money to customize it. Take it straight out of here and we'll uh, take it for a stock test drive and see how it goes. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take it back to the garage we'll get it customized. Alright, we're back in the garage. I went ahead and positioned all my monster trucks here. 370Z in the middle here that we're going to customize. In the back over here I have the 1500 Silverado purple with the flames on it. Awesome looking truck. We got the Ford F-150 Raptor. Put my own custom livery on it. I think it looks pretty decent. Over here we have a Camaro SS with the monster slash zombie looking livery on this one with the snorkel on it. Looks pretty nice, I think. Interesting looking. Maybe someone blew their nose on it, I'm not too sure. But here we got my uh, Jurassic Park livery from the community. Somebody designed it. I think they did a really great job on it on the Grand Cherokee Jeep here. Going back to the 370Z monster truck, we're going to get this customized. Alright, I went ahead and applied a basic livery to it just so we can see the customization of it. Hood options, we have six options to look at. Got the heat extractors and the snorkel. I can't zoom out far enough to see that fully, but it doesn't look too bad. Three full on vents. If you're going to put a livery on it, it kind of screws it up. Carbon. Carbon with all the vents, and carbon from the first hood option. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to stick with one front bumper we have 12 options I mean I really like this in stock white to be honest but we can see how it goes it's a monster truck it's supposed to look silly right wow that really extends it out looks pretty sharp with those metal slash chrome looking lights there from carbon the chrome extends it out lights on top lights go away so it keeps the extension, but then it goes carbon in the front. Kind of like the race car look, I guess. Hmm. Didn't know there's actually a carbon lip below there, too. Yeah, I'm going to go with 7. That looks pretty good. Moving on to the front fender. So we have a carbon which I don't even think there's a carbon display that matches that, so we're, I'm going to take that off. Leave number one. Go to the side mirrors. We got the first option, which is painted, and carbon, and it goes really small. I'm going to keep the one option. Skirts. Get the stock. There's a carbon with an indent station there. And three carbon... Um, yeah, doesn't really match the rest of my theme going on here, so I'm going to move on. Rear fender. Gets that carbon appeal again. I'm not going to keep it unless I can find a rear bumper to match it. Then I might end, end up changing it. Because that actually doesn't look too bad. Moving on to the rear wing slash spoiler. 
looks like this is almost connected but then we go to the high rise a really big spoiler a big one but curved another flat one but then it's got two supports in the middle instead of the side the one that matches the car which I really like hmm I like this one too if I go off the car right on the back it would match There's even carbons on the sides too. I think we'll stick with seven, why not? Rear bumper, we have four options. I was hoping for something to come out to the sides to match the carbon, but that's about the closest you can possibly get it with that. Um, like I said, it's supposed to be crazy, so I'm gonna stick with four here. Going on the inside, not too sure what I'm going to do with it, but I think we're going to go with uh, solid white for, uh, I was going to go with white, but it doesn't really match too well. I think I'll just keep it black for now. That's it. Get, that's all it's going to be for the customization, and then I'll go ahead and add the performance parts to it to get it upgraded. Alright, to show the performance, I don't have every upgrade possible for it, but I did get it up to 102 at a 140 performance level. It's as far as I can go. Tires 113, suspension 107, 85 for exhaust, 109 for the motor car, ECU 90, 109 for gearbox, and brakes 106. Pushes it up to 127 miles per hour and power 100 and 1174 horsepower. Go ahead and probably take it out to the dunes. See how it goes. Alrighty, we're back out here in the dunes or the salt, sand salts or salt flats. It's very foggy out here, but let's go for a speed run, try to hit the dunes, see how it goes. Immediate takeoff. was pretty awesome I think good test drive good performance nobody I don't ever see a monster truck being recorded so I said why not thank you guys again for watching the Great Lakes Yeti y'all have a good one and I'll see you in the next one